Okay, so to introduce our lesson today and a new uh, data table that you're going to do, um, first I want you to generate your own um, graph based on some data. So you're going to use the data table below to plot a solubility curve for each compound. So um, you're going to be creating a graph of each one of these and then you're going to be able to answer the questions. Okay, so first off, you're gonna to need to have four different colors to create your graph. So what this graph is showing us is the temperature from zero to 100 degrees and how many grams of solute will dissolve in that 100 grams of water. So for example, at zero degrees, I can dissolve 72 grams of NaNO3 in 100 grams of water. At 10 degrees, I can dissolve 80 degrees in a, or 80 grams, excuse me, in 100 grams of water. So you can see that for NaNO3, as I warm up the substance, I'm able to dissolve more and more and more and more in there. Which if you think about, if you're trying to dissolve sugar, you're gonna heat up the water. You can dissolve a lot more sugar in hot tea than you can in iced tea. So this is all talking about temperature now. So we did the nature of the solvent, whether or not something was polar or nonpolar determined if it would dissolve. Now today we're gonna to be talking about temperature. Okay, so when you're gonna come over here to your graph, make sure that you give it a title. Okay. Up the side is the grams of solute per 100 grams of water. So you can see that the highest value is 144. I found if you count just by tens, you're going to, um, fit everything nicely on the graph. So here's your zero, and then go ahead and count up by tens. Okay, and so on. The bottom is going to be your temperature in degrees Celsius, which we know is from zero to 100 in this graph. So same thing, if you just number by tens, okay, you'll have a nice graph. And then you're just gonna go ahead and plot the points. So you'd go all the way down NaNO3, so um, let's say for that one, I'm going to use blue. I'm going to go zero degrees, 72, 10 degrees, 80, 20 degrees. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and, um, plot those points and make the curves. Once I've plotted all four of these lines and I have all four curves over here, you'll be able to see a trend. What happens as temperature increases for each of them? And then you're gonna answer the different questions. You can use the table or you can use the graph to answer these five questions. Okay. All right, so then when you're done with all of that, you've got your labels, you've got your, um, labeled your axes correctly, you've plotted all four lines in four different colors, answered your questions. Make sure that it has your name on the top and go ahead and hand in to Mr. Vance. Okay, all right.